Well, hello everybody and welcome to 2022. This morning I want to uh, shoot some panorama pictures at the beginning of the new year. Panoramas are pretty much the uh, pr ah, not the most known technique in landscape photography, but it's pretty well known. So that's why we are uh, shooting some panoramas this morning. Let's go! So, since I uh, do live in Switzerland, the Alps are pretty much the uh, defining feature of Switzerland, at least for tourism. And panos are a pretty good way to show how beautiful the Alps are. And uh, I live in the uh, northwestern part of uh, Switzerland. That's not nearly close enough um, to go to the Alps every day. But if you drive an hour, you go to, to the Jura Alps, the lower Alps, and you can shoot some panos from here directly to the Alps. So uh, let's show those. It would be helpful to have a long lens or a longer lens. I have my uh, R6 with me and the 24 to 105 um, F4 lens. So that's pretty uh, useful focal range to uh, shoot those panos. So my tripod has a rotating plate on it. You can either turn it down here or you can um, unlock the uh, tripod plate up there. So you can only rotate um, this portion of the, uh, of the tripod head. It makes it pretty easy to uh, take panos. So why would you take panos? Pano is actually just stitching several images together from left to right or right to left. It gives you more detail in your shot. And also it makes the, uh, the subject in the frame appear to be bigger than it actually looks like if you would take just an image like it is. And if you would take just an image like it is, just a straight ahead, ahead um, you will lose a lot of detail if you crop it to a panel, so you cut off the sky to, to, to make it appear like a panorama picture and just you lose a lot of megapixels that way. Okay, let's set up the camera. So, I have it on the landscape orientation right now. I just turn it around for uh, um, portrait, portrait um, orientation. Usually I would have my L bracket on this camera so I can easily switch it to uh, portrait mode. In this case I have to uh, do it that way or uh, that way and I have to uh, turn around the tripod to do that. Now, you can see that, yeah it's okay. Okay, you would zoom in with the camera, obviously, and take several images from left to right, right to left. If you do that, make it to overlap those uh, few images, at least a third of the image, of, of each image. So Lightroom or whatever software you use has it easier to stitch together those uh, photos in, uh, on the computer. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, as you can see, I zoomed in all the way. I still have a foreground down here with the trees and the trees behind. Oh, come on, focus. And also you can see, um, I will take one image like that, one image like that, like that, like that, and like that, and we stitch those together. Also try to uh, level out the tripod, or at least the tripod hat, so if you uh, make the pano, it doesn't get crooked. So, and if you do that, if you wouldn't uh, look for that, um, if you stitch together those images, it would be crooked all the way, and you lose a lot, a lot of uh, image space when it, had, it needs to crop everything together. So, level the tripod, or at least uh, the tripod hat. Oh, 
And also, before you take those images, use a two or three second timer if you have one in your camera. Most of your camera nowadays do, the, do have those. Why? Just because if you're using a, a long lens, till your uh, tripod is uh, stable enough, it usually takes two or three seconds to level out to be stable enough. And if you use uh, a tri uh, the, uh, the self timer, it will be stable after a few seconds. Okay, that means take one image, there it is. Turn the camera a few degrees, as I said, overlap by a third. Take another shot, turn the camera, take another one, and so on and so on, till you have enough images for your stitch. And another tip, if you're uh, making panels, shoot the panel wider than you would uh, use it later for your f final image. So you still have a bit more room to crop or reposition uh, or uh, the image or level it out. If you haven't properly leveled out the, uh, the tripod, so you don't lose any uh, megapixels. Okay, that's it from the uh, first video from 2022. I hope you enjoy uh, landscape photography, photography in general, and panos. It's really a good way to show where you live and how spectacular those uh, mountains are. So, all the best for 2022 and see you soon. Mm -hmm.